Hey ladies, are you feeling irritable, tired, bloated, or just not at your best? Hormonal imbalance could be the one to blame. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the signs and symptoms of hormonal imbalance in women. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sidra and I'm a pharmacist. Welcome to Ask Your Pharmacist, where I talk all about health and pharmacy. I feel like hormonal imbalance is underrated by many people and is pushed into a stereotype of part of being a woman. A lot of people are unaware how hormones play a vital role in our body. See, hormones are the chemical messengers in our bodies telling us what to do and what not to do. They control many of our body's major processes like metabolism and reproduction. And when you have hormonal imbalance, you have either too much or too little of a certain hormone. And even tiny changes can actually have serious effects throughout your whole body. Think of hormones like a cake recipe where too much or too little of any ingredient uh, actually affects the final product. So before I dive into the science of the hormonal imbalance, I want to talk about the three main hormones that are important for women. The first one is estrogen. This hormone helps control the menstrual cycle, is important for childbearing, uh, controls cholesterol, uh, protects bones, and is even responsible for your memory and mood. Then we have the progesterone hormone. Uh, this hormone helps regulate your cycle, but its main job is to get your uterus ready for pregnancy. After you ovulate each month, progesterone actually helps thicken the lining of the uterus to prepare for a fertilized egg. The third important hormone in women is testosterone. Now you may be wondering that testosterone is a male sex hormone. Yes, it is a male sex hormone, but it's produced in small amount in women's ovaries as well. And combined with other female sex hormones, testosterone help with growth, uh, maintenance, and repair of the female reproductive tissues and bone mass. Now, there are other important hormones as well, but for this video, I'm gonna focus on just these three hormones. Because when these hormones are imbalanced, then we run into the problems which are not associated just with our reproductive and sexual health, but they also affect our mood and generalized health. Now that the basics are out of the way, let's talk about some of the signs of hormonal imbalance. The first and the most important sign is irregular periods. For most women, periods come every 21 to 35 days, and every once in a while, you may get periods a couple of days early or late because of stress or diet changes, that's okay. But if your periods are irregular throughout the year, or you skip some months, then it might mean that you have either too much or too little of estrogen and progesterone hormone. Now, if you're in your 40s or early 50s, uh, the reason for the irregularities in periods could be the perimenopause, that's the time before the menopause, but consistently irregular periods could be a symptom of any underlying health issue like uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is PCOS. So don't ignore it and talk to your doctor if you're consistently getting irregular periods. The second symptom that could be an indicative of irregular hormones is sleep disorder. Now, if you're constantly struggling with getting quality sleep, then it could be because of the imbalance of your progesterone. Progesterone is actually released by your ovaries and it helps you snooze. But if your levels are actually lower than usual, that can make it hard for you to fall asleep or stay asleep. And also the lower level of estrogen can trigger hot flashes and night sweats, uh, both of which can actually make it hard to get a good sleep. The third symptom is skin and hair changes. Just like your irregular periods, if you get acne here and there due to stress or poor diet, it's okay. But acne that are reoccurring and won't clear up could be a symptom of hormonal imbalance. One of the few hormones that's involved in the acne could be androgens. Androgens are typically referred to as male hormones, but they're found in both males and females, and they regulate your skin's sebum production. Now, if your body produces androgen in excess, sebum can build up in your pores and can cause pimple to surface. Hormonal imbalance also affect women's hair. So if you're experiencing excessive hair growth on your face, like thick facial hair, or your actual hair are thinning, uh, you're getting baldness patterns, then do consult your doctor because that could be a sign of abnormal uh, androgen hormone. Symptom four 
is PMS or low sex drive. Low testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone are all associated with decreased sex drive in both men and women. And this is especially common after the age of 50 when estrogen and testosterone both start to decline. Since estrogen is one of the main hormones regulating the woman's menstrual cycle, a decrease in the production of estrogen can actually lead to irregular periods that are too long and too short. As women age, the estrogen level tends to decrease, which does decreases the sex drive. But if you are a young individual, like not in your 40s, you're under 30, 35 in that age range, and you are experiencing decreased libido or decreased uh, sex drive, uh, dryness in vagina or mood swings, then that could be a sign of low estrogen. Symptom five could be belly problem. Now your gut is lined with tiny cells called receptors that respond to estrogen and progesterone. When these hormones are higher or lower than usual, you might notice changes in how you're digesting food. And that's why diarrhea, stomach pain, uh, bloating, and nausea can crop up and get worse before and during your period. So if you're having prolonged digestive issues, also associated with the fatigue and issues like acne, then that also could be a sign of hormonal imbalance. If you're getting weight gain because of poor diet, then I would say get back on healthy diet because in that condition, you're the one to blame for. But if you are doing everything right, like you're exercising, you're eating a balanced diet, but still putting on weight or it's hard for you to lose weight, then it could be very frustrating. And a lot of time people just give up on themselves. So in that case, I suggest don't give up. I think you may consider getting your hormones levels checked because you could be having a hormone imbalance. Decreased level of uh, Estrogen hormone is actually associated with weight gain and it also impacts your eating pattern. So don't overlook that. If you're constantly struggling with weight gain or you're getting a sudden weight gain, regardless of doing everything right, then definitely consult your doctor and get your hormones level. Some people find it very strange that hormones impact your brain but actually research shows that hormones do impact our brain how we don't know yet but what we do know is that the changes in estrogen and progesterone can make your head feel very foggy and make it harder for you to remember things or to stay focused some experts actually think that estrogen might impact the brain chemicals called neurotransmitters attention and memory problems are especially common during the premenopause or menopause but they can also be a symptom of other hormone related conditions like thyroid disease so do check with your doctor if you are having trouble uh, thinking clearly uh, staying focused because if not imbalance of your estrogen progesterone hormone it could be an imbalance of your thyroid hormone which also causes many other issues and i actually have a video on thyroid hormone imbalance uh, i'll put a link in the i button in the description definitely check that out because thyroid hormone just like your other hormones is very important hormone uh, deficiency of thyroid hormone can cause weight gain uh, mood swings and there are many other issues associated with that hormone imbalance so do check that video out and see your doctor if you think you are low in thyroid level now every once in a while we are all tired but you should recover with an adequate rest hydration and healthy diet but if you feel you're taking care of yourself, but you're still feeling exhausted and you just can't get back to your best, then consider having a comprehensive evaluation of your hormone levels because adrenal fatigue and hypothyroidism are more prevalent in our high speed society than you may think. So a hormonal imbalance test is definitely worth it in this case. I feel like a lot of people find it cliche that hormonal imbalance can cause anxiety. So I want to put a stop to this that no, it's not in your head. Hormonal imbalance can actually cause anxiety and mood disorders. Nearly 18% of Americans suffer from anxiety related disorders and 7% from a major depressive disorder each year. And the percentage of women who suffer from these disorders is way higher than men. 
and it could be because of the hormonal imbalance. Women actually experiences changes in their estrogen level during menstrual cycle, pregnancy or menopause and those are associated with worsening depression. There was actually a study done on the effects of estrogen receptors in our brain and it actually shows that estrogen calms the fear response and anxiety in both humans and rodents. Studies showed that the higher level of estrogen were uh, correlated with less fearful responses and has more like calming effect on individuals. So a decrease in sex drive could also be a sign of hormonal imbalance. And like I said before, in pre-menopause, the estrogen level is decreased, which does uh, causes a decrease in libido. But if you are in your 30s and mid 20s and you are experiencing that problem, then that's a hormonal imbalance. So definitely uh, get your hormones level checked out. To get your hormones levels checked, you can simply get the blood work done at doctor's office. Your doctor will send the sample of your blood to a lab for testing and most hormones can be detected in the blood. Now actually the at home uh, hormone testing kits are also available. So if you are experiencing any symptoms of hormonal imbalance, you can order the in-home testing kit. Home testing kits usually uh, use saliva or blood from your fingertip to measure your levels of cortisol, uh, thyroid hormone or other sex hormones uh, like progesterone and testosterone. These are pretty handy and you can just get your results at the comfort of your home. Oh, some uh, in-home testing kits require urine samples. So, de so depending on the kind of uh, kit you're using you can just collect your sample and mail it to the lab and they will send you the results within five to ten days all right ladies so that's it for today's video these are some of the most important signs of hormonal imbalance of course there are others but these are the most important ones if you think you have hormonal imbalance definitely contact your doctor there are actually several ways to balance the hormones before you actually start the um, hormonal replacement therapy i'm actually going to post a video on that that pretty soon maybe sometimes next week so do look out for that for now i'm gonna take off if you have any questions leave them in the comments or dm me like share and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the informative videos on health and pharmacy i'll see you guys next time bye